Okay, character sheet displays all the relevant values for a character on the left hand side of the screen. Uh huh. Uh, on the left hand side of the sheet. <laughs> you will find the basic values in the right hand section. You can switch between six tabs at the top to show the views inventory talents, the combat talents, special skills, spells, and recipe book. By clicking on the character portrait on the right hand edge of the screen, you will probably just see one at first, but others may be added later. You can switch between characters. In many cases, you will receive useful tips when you move your mouse over words and objects. Right-clicking on them often brings up a context menu. Okay. So there's no real information except for... Okay, talents. Talents reflect your character's personality and capabilities. So I guess all this is talents. Um, each character has what are known as basic talents. On the other hand, however, special talents must be learned unless your character possesses them from the outset due to partic particular circumstances. How well a character has mastered a particular talent is shown by its value. Talents are employed in different game situations. They enable you to receive extra information and dialogues, also to discover animals and plants in the wilderness. Pickpockets is useful when your purse is empty, and willpower helps you with any subsequent physical altercations. The... Wait, where's it go? Where'd it go? Oh. The success or failure in these actions is decided by a talent test. A test is always rolled for three attributes. The values involved in the test are highlighted when your mouse when you mouse over them. Right clicking displays further information about the talent. I just realized this is probably gonna be hard for me to handle not um quick saving, quick loading. Okay, so There was something that showed up right here. Okay, so I can't change any of these. I can change these. I didn't actually learn much from all that. What does Streetwise do? Well, that's kind of pathetic. What is retreat wounds? Always needs bandages. Mm hmm. Hmm. I should probably leave most of these default until I really get a good feel for this game. Okay, let's pick the inventory. Inventory contains all the objects a character carries with them. Two inventory bags. Uh huh. Um. A quest bag. Got it. Provides space for items, and you have earned and collected. The money shows your entire party's f party. Hmm. You should pay particular attention to your armor rating as the w and the weight. As the heavier your character's armor, the more handicapped he or she will be in battle. I was kind of hoping that this wouldn't be a party, but I guess it will be a party. To equip a character, click on the item. This is well, this places the item in the appropriate place. Click on the item again places it back in one of your bags. To give another member of your party an object, press and hold the left mouse button and drag the object to the portrait of the appropriate character on the right hand side of the screen. To access the object or talent quickly in the game, use the same method to place it into the quick slot bar at the bottom edge of the screen. So is this one of those games where you have to have party members to be able to do everything? In other words, you have to have one spellcaster, you have to have one healer, you have to have one rogue, you have to have one archer, you have to have one fighter, and you have to have one defender. You have to, Is that sort of how this works? <laughs> so, I should be able to just click on it. There's nothing. Yeah, so, your little help files aren't being worth anything. Hmm. Combat talents. Reflect how well the character can fight, their various types of weapons. Each has his or her talent pro prowess. Um, no talent tests are performed for combat talents. Talent prowess really skills is divided into base attack and base parry values. While attack value, okay, while that for ranged combat is applied entirely in the base ranged value, you can, within certain parameters, decide yourself how to apportion it. The values determined this way result the character's final attack and defensive defense values during combat, on which every character rolls an attack test. 
Special skills are... See, this is not useful at all. This is just generic information. Is there anything worthwhile in all this text? I don't think there is. Yeah. Okay, let's just start it. Whoops, not reset. Oh, right, right, I see. Except, I don't see anything I can do here that would be of interest. Yeah. I guess what I could do is... Move these around. Oh, I see. This is how it was originally. Um, so I could do all parry on this one and then all attack on that one. It's also kind of thinking of going like Hogwild and Sabres. And forgetting about daggers altogether, have sabers be my damage, or my defense, and then my fencing as my damage. But let's just start with that. I don't know. It's fine. Okay, quest. Invitation from old friend. Welcome to Adventuria. What? Oh, Aventuria. You will meet many people in your travels and ask them to do favors for various tasks for them. The life of a hero involves gradually collecting a great number of tasks and a large amount of information. And in order to keep track of all these things, you will carry a quest book in with you in which all instructions are logged for you to read again at any time. New information acquired from conversations or completing tasks causes the entries in the quest book to be modified. These changes are indicated by the book symbol, which lights up. You will also receive messages informing you of new quests. Right. Ooh, I can't turn my camera that way. Oh, that's how you turn the camera. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, stop it. Okay. Selector. Oh, this is definitely different. <laughs> is this supposed to be like Fable 2 or something? Right now the controls are pathetic. Am I going the right way? I'm probably going the exact wrong way. Hold on, I have to Hold exchange on. a few words with I you. Have to exchange a few words with you. Oh no, he talks. Great. So I have to Oh, 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 I get it. He actually verbalizes this much text, but you want me to read that much text. Great. Couldn't be the other way around. Uh, you can collect a great deal of information from talking to people. Some of the people you will talk how you talk to will, however, only talk about their problems and are looking for someone whom they can chatter with about everything under the sun. Uh, some, however, have very useful knowledge of quests and give, can give you tips on how to proceed. In dialogues, social talents can be used to gain further information. The highest talent pro 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 prowess score in the group is used to do this, and talent test is rolled. Your opponent's reaction will show you whether or not the talent test was successful. The conversation can be viewed again in the message log. Great. Uh-huh. Is there any problem? I've traveled a long way and hope to reach the city of Furdock before sunset. No speech? No speech. Great. We have so many problems here, I don't know where to start. First, the reinforcements didn't turn up, and now Furdock has been sealed off, and all the while there's a pack of bloodthirsty murderers roaming around the countryside. Well, I'd like to know what's really going on. At the moment, only dignitaries and travelers of good repute are given a pass to enter the city. Be that as it may, I have urgent business in Furdock. Is this the invitation from Viscount Borstock sufficient? The Viscount is a respectable man, but you won't get past Inspector Nandor without two attesters willing to vouch for your good character. Nandor is the customs inspector. He alone decides who can enter the city of Furdock at this time. Oh, I'm hating this dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's hope there's not a whole lot of dialogue like that. <laughs> Probably is. <laughs> Plant lore. Really? 